It was ridiculous. Ridiculous the way we're living. There's rats, there's hundreds of rats out the back. There's rubbish everywhere. There's, there's no running water for Papa. There's, there's trailers in there with holes underneath them. People living in bad, very bad conditions. And uh, the, the councils there, Dublin City Council, the government, the whole lot, they're doing nothing about it. They're leaving the tribal community to suffer. There's men in here and they're living in trailers that they wouldn't put a dog in there. I don't see why people is getting treated so different because, because of a name, the tribal community. Do you know what I mean? We're, we're our own people, fair enough, but we're still all the one at the end of the day and we should be getting treated like everyone. When he made the comments during the presidential election, yes. do you think that led to more discrimination? Yeah, of course it did. Of course there's people out there calling us knackers, dirty pikeys, dirty smelly scumbags. He came out here because of what he said on telly and he wants to make up for what he said and it was wrong and it was completely wrong and nothing is going to get changed. What you see here now, 10 year time in, in Dunsink Lane is going to be the exact same and it's never going to change. Never. Looking back now, were you wrong? Absolutely not. <laughs> I don't believe I was wrong in any of the comments that I made about the travelling community. I basically said that, um, you know, obviously there is a problem with life expectancy being much shorter, uh, suicide rates, it needs to be addressed. Hello Hi. there, how are you? My dad how are gave you? you his number one vote here. Well, you tell him, you tell him you thank you. Because you spoke <laughs> up about the travellers and he loved it. I mean, it is absolutely wrong for discrimination in any way, shape or form, but I also don't agree that the traveling community is a different ethnic group. The fact that the government passed this uh, encourages a propagation of this subculture, which is clearly unhealthy for the members of this community. Why do they qualify as an ethnic group? It just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Thank you for making time in the house today for this historic and symbolic recognition of travellers as an ethnic group within the Irish nation. So there should be no surprise that a person can identify as Irish and as traveller. This strong message from the state would be a very important symbolic and positive step in acknowledging the uniqueness of traveller identity and help to counter the stigma and the shame felt by many and increase feelings of respect, of self-esteem and of inclusion. You don't think travellers are an ethnic minority? <clears throat> they, they are an ethnic minority. Do you, do you still stand over those comments? Absolute nonsense. They're not an ethnic minority at all. I mean, uh, people from India are a different ethnic race. People from Pakistan are a different ethnic race. My DNA is exactly so, the so same. So what do you consider an ethnic minority if travellers are not an ethnic well, minority? Do you, how do you consider them to be an ethnic minority? I mean, they're Irish. They're Irish. Well, you could start with the dictionary, I suppose. Um, and look up what ethnic means, you know, that would be, wouldn't be a bad start. The ethnicity comes from the culture that travellers developed as a subculture. But Brian, and it's from very, but Brian, very the culture is, 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 is actually literally killing them. You know, they've got the six times the suicide rate of the national average. The average uh, male life expectancy is 15.1 years less than the, the than of the settled community. For a female, it's 11.2 years yeah. less. So this is literally a subculture which is not to their benefit. An oppressed uh, minority without hope. People living in those circumstances take their own lives, eventually, eventually take their own lives when hope runs out. So to say that uh, traveller suicide is a result of traveller culture is just appalling. It's just totally appalling and it's, and it's adding I, grief, that's not, that's it's not, adding grief and not, misery on top not, of families that's, that's who have already carried far too many what, coffins. What I was saying was that there is a tragic situation where the suicide rate is six or seven times the national average. That is not a culture that needs to be promoted. You know? The views are misinformed, they're populist and they're, they're absolutely uh, dangerous in, in terms of uh, feeding in to a very populist notion that allows people to blame 
the people who happen to be at the bottom of a ladder. Will you inform yourself more about the traveller community, as Brian has suggested? Um, I'm very well informed, so you know, uh, and I continually read uh, and keep myself informed. The the comments were were quite divisive. I think that if you're to get involved in politics, it's to represent the majority, as in everyone, to be inclusive, to be all encompassing. And I felt a little bit like I was excluded from ever supporting you based solely on the fact that you generalise the whole community. If you're seeking to represent people, you have to be more socially aware, more inclusive. Your words carry weight, and had you chosen the correct way to approach talking about my community, you may have had quite a number of my community supporting you. Do you know what happened? I like know a complete was, accident. I know that. Right? I, know I, that. I, was down, I, I was walking around O'Connell Street, uh, around uh, St Stephen's Green the night before with my wife, and there was people sleeping in doorways and they, you know, sitting there with bagging cups. And I was just thinking, this is just so wrong, you know. And then I go down to Turtles and I see the six beautiful houses that, you know, uh, and that they, they wouldn't move in. Have I had you no ever idea. set out to I, even mention travellers in your presidential all, campaign? Not at all. It wasn't until I went down and saw the houses in Turtles. And then, literally, over the weekend, I got like 3,000 uh, messages, emails, everything, you know, saying don't pull out, you know. I thought, well, I've only got another week to go. Even after that, I still wanted to see you stay within the race because I held out hope that you would have addressed that accident that you made. Unfortunately, it kind of, it, it, it became an avalanche. It, 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 got, it got worse and worse, and then all of a sudden you became the person who spoke out against travellers, which spoke to a certain segment of society that are already disenfranchised and quite frustrated. The one thing I want to get across here is... You know, if the 343,272 people who voted for me, if they voted for me because they think I'm a racist, then please give the vote to someone else. You know, that's what's the message that yeah. I want to get across. Did you put that message and out, even on Twitter? You're quite active on Twitter. Um, I actually believe I did. I must check it. I don't think you did, but that's but okay because this look, we can, no, we can so these are things no, we can work no, no, on. No, that's, I will. I will put but it. Can you Twitter. understand why you know? certain people? voted for Peter Casey. I am the first to admit there is crime within our community, okay? There are certainly bad people within our community. I've received homophobic abuse most of my life from some members of my community. However, the majority of my community are law-abiding. Mm -hmm. And this this is the thing. Well, I, I, I accept that. Unless you, re, 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 I suppose, retract that misconception that some of your voters, not, not all of your voters, but some of your voters that are on social media calling for you to solve the traveller issues, unless you retract that and say, listen, hang on a second, that was, I was blindsided, that was an accident. By no means do I encourage any form of discrimination against any ethnic minority group. I mean, I've seen discrimination living in Australia, like massive discrimination against the Aboriginal community, yes. you know, is horrendous. But you know. Would you consider the Aboriginal community an ethnic minority? Of course they are, and how, they're discriminated. How would you consider them an ethnic minority, but not the travelling community? Uh, because they're completely different. I mean, they are a completely different DNA. Um, but is that what it comes down to? It just, they look I, well, I, I, it's, it's, it becomes, it goes down... I think if ethnic uh, status comes down to your DNA. DNA doesn't actually determine your ethnicity. There are markers that are set out to determine whether a community or a group are an ethnic minority. Mm -hmm. And that comes from Europe. What about the 40,000 people, from, uh, there's like 45,000 Indian people who are different ethnic status? Would you, should they be given... Uh, cause, you're going Money? to say special. You're going to should say they, special should they be given special rights? treatment? Should they? It's not special treatment. But should they be given? Should they be? Treated? It's recognition. Should they be recognised? Uh, as which? As, as, a, as an ethnic group. They are. You have a responsibility if you get involved in politics to represent us all. And I'd like to know that you're big enough to say, look, I'm sorry if I cause upset. If you're willing to learn, people are willing to teach. And if if I'm willing to learn, I hope you're willing to teach us a few things too. Give up. Yeah. During the presidential campaign, Peter Casey made various comments in relation to travellers. How did that affect the work you do and what was your reaction to it? To make such a broad statement about 31,000 people, I found quite unbelievable. I know it is completely misinformed, um, based, in my opinion, on prejudice. 
On the 25th of October, the day of the vote, I received uh, an email to my office here. Somebody had gone to great trouble to set up an email address under the name of Michael the Pikey, um, and in ag agreeing that um, Irish society are sick of these um, this lot who are basically non-taxing, scrounging, antisocial share of no good humans. I received another email that morning saying 21%, what do you think of that, ha ha ha. I was astounded by that, but I'm not surprised by the reaction that that statement made, and that was my fear about it. I have never had a bad experience with a traveller, ever. So, you know, I was more surprised than uh, the newer the, with the reaction. What do you make of Peter's others. statement there that well, travellers are holding sites it, because they choose that no, way of life? No, it's actually not factual. It's not well, factual. And if a traveller, what, what Peter, there's a, there's a huge difference between choosing to live in a halting site and what I'm saying is it is okay to live in a halting site if that's what you choose. It's not okay for the council not to provide a service on that. We have an old woman up on this site who's waiting to have her hip replaced who has to go outside during the night, get down steps of her mobile, go outside, maybe dodge a few rats along the way and go inside to her toilet. So people don't choose that Excuse feeder. Me, there are six houses empty. They don't choose They that. choose not to go into the six beautiful We're empty houses. We're talking about 11 I'm families not, out of 31,000 people, I'm Peter. So what's the solution? There, there are lots of things that need to happen, but things that don't need to happen is random statements, like the statement you made, that generalise a whole community. What's the conditions generally like The water here? is very bad here. The water is extremely bad. Like, um, if you use it to brush your teeth or anything, you get sores in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Here during the Christmas, like, I think there's four or five cars running up and down the oak and they were coming into the site here, skidding and going back out and then oh, burning yeah. them at the gate. There's money made available for traveller accommodation throughout Ireland, but some of that isn't spent. Yeah, well, Surely you'd want to see some of that spent here. 100%. That's disgraceful, though, the road there. I got that. Yeah. The county council's responsibility to clean that up. No, they won't. They won't. They won't bother with it at all. The, the mains inside that unit there, now, right? Uh, the switches and things, they're all um, burnt out. Like The council needs to come in and fix them. Like, they're coming in the last couple of years to fix them now. Do you know what I mean? So, like, they might come in if someone gets shocked to death, like, you know? So, they might come in and fix it. What age were you when you left school? After I made me confirmation. It wasn't a great experience in school, to be honest. If someone caught your knacker and you go to the teacher, it wouldn't be much use. Like, you weren't getting believed. It was not that I didn't want to learn. I wanted to learn. The mm. teachers hadn't got the time for me. That's the God and his truth. Mm. Absolutely, totally and absolutely wrong. And that shouldn't happen. And I condemn anybody who does that behaviour. I would be very surprised that that behaviour exists in today. They should be treated exactly the same as every other Irish citizen. You and just heard Thomas, Peter, tell you that he was treated differently his whole life. And I said that that was wrong, but I don't believe it's happening in schools today. Did you ever walk into a shop and for the security guard to follow you around the shop until you leave? Uh, and that no. happens today? Yeah, that happens. Oh, it still happens today. 100% of us. I totally condemn that. So you know, yeah, but you not think that's them treating us different? Like, they don't even know us. Well, you know I, what I'm saying? We're walking in and they're following us around. Well, you know, I, I'm, I would... I, I have to take your word that that happens. Oh, it ha I mean, if it didn't happen, know, I wouldn't say I, I, mean, I am a, an honest person. Like, yeah, I find that hard to believe because, you, you know, you look no different to me, Thomas. You look very presentable. More or less you're saying that you find it hard to believe that it's happening now. So that means, just, just, just give a second, that means if my son came home and told me that he was called a knacker in his classroom or his teacher would treat him different because he's a traveller mm -hmm. and I went to the... But because you don't believe that's happening now, if I went to the principal, yep. would the principal believe my son? I don't believe that teachers are treating traveling to, uh, the travelers, uh, the children differently. I don't accept that. And Based on what? I, I just don't accept it. If a child is being discriminated against in school, go to the headmaster of the school and the headmaster will sort it out. Do you think a traveler child is still getting discrimination by the settled children's school today? Do you think that happens? Um, I, I don't know, is the answer. You know, I mean, I got bullied as a child at school. Uh, bullying happens all the time, and it's wrong. Uh, so you got bullied as a child? As a child, yeah. They're, they're so did it not guy. stop when you told your parents, and your parents went to the principal? Uh, no, it didn't. Well, uh, so it's not that simple like, then, Peter? Because that's what you just I'm said. Saying, I'm not saying it's that simple, it's wrong, though. What's the conditions like, Levine? 
in the caravans. I suppose this time of year it must be. I know it is really it, cold. It, isn't it? It's very calm, especially like um, if the young fella like uh, needs to go to the the tide because the, the tide is here that they're they're staying still. Like possibly you might get a kidney infection over like. And then like um, as you know, the rats as well. You know, there's rats here as well. Yeah, the rats are near as big as dogs. So rats running about here in the summer. You you have a five year old kid. There's yeah, other well, children here. Look, how does that make you feel? And it's, it's bad. Like you'd be worried that in case they pick up an infection or something, or they've got bit by them. So where where where's the rubbish coming from? Because of the lane the whole way, and here's just yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Rubbish they, they, dumped they, everywhere. They, they come all over. They dump something. Like like literally all over. If you, know. you you could move out of here, would you? If I could get a house, yeah, of course I would. We, you've touched on this 150 million, mm. which is for traveller accommodation. 45 million of that isn't spent. Is that, yeah. Surely the government or the councils could use that funding to make sure that halting sites like this do have clean running water. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's a disgrace. Obviously, it's made me aware that there is more discrimination. And I have said quite openly when I uh, made the comment, I was not aware of the massive discrimination that there was, you know. But I don't recognise a different ethnic group. You're, you're uh, you know, Thomas, a different subculture, you know. I mean, I'm, for example, the same ethnic DNA as you are. If you, you do a test between the two, you wouldn't know the difference between yours and mine. But it's, I do recognise that it is a different subculture. I do recognise that and respect that. They're definitely not an ethnic minority. They're the same DNA as I am. There's absolutely, I accept that they are a, a different subculture. Not even the people in the leadership of the traveling inverted commas community could tell me how many people, uh, her travelers travel and how many actually live in houses. Now, I, I don't see how you can call somebody who's living in a four bedroom house a traveler. You know, that just doesn't make sense to me. What has that got to do with got whether do they've that. got ethnic status or not? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. They're not an ethnic status. They're the same DNA as I am. The same DNA. Not being ridiculous. So you are being many you people being, spelt it out. To yeah. You. And why I, they gained they, ethnic status? They shouldn't have gained ethnic status. There's absolutely no logical reason why they got ethnic status. We spoke to people like Thomas Keenan, who is discriminated mm. discriminated against because he's a member of the traveling community. Does that he not show that he, he is like an you, ethnic you, minority? No, it does not. It doesn't do that. That's Again, you're, you're being silly. If he chooses to label himself as a different person, that's his choice. That's life. It's full of life's choices. He doesn't choices. choose. He was born he into not, the traveling He's community. not an ethnic, a different ethnic status. It's a subculture within his Irish ethnicity. How does it not make sense? See, I don't understand. Ach, move on. Yeah. Well, I don't understand the point yeah, you're trying to make. On. I've already said what I'm going to say about that. But I don't understand the point well, you're trying to make, and the well, listeners well, will want to well. understand where you're coming from as well. I will. There's over 30,000 travellers in Ireland, mm -hmm. but do you not keep concentrating on what happened in Thurlis and no, kind of you see, I'm looking at the rest you, of the you, travelling you, community because nobody of that? Can, nobody can tell you how many of the 30,000 live in four bedroom houses. I don't accept that they are different to anyone else in Ireland. They choose a lifestyle that is literally killing them. People living in halting sites uh, where we, we went and we visited and the conditions there are, are dreadful. But those people we met uh, they, told you that they do not choose to live there, that uh, they would take a house if they were offered one. Uh, that's not true. Because the people, it is, that it is, is not, true. No, that's not true. That is not true. The people, the people in the uh, Turles were offered the houses across the road. They wouldn't move in. So, you know, what you just said is not true. No, but we spoke to yeah. Thomas Keenan, Peter, and yeah. the people in the halting site in Finglas, who says they do not choose to live in a halting site and they would move into houses if they had the choice. You're very argumentative. That's my job, Peter, is the challenge. It's not to be one-sided, though. Not one-sided. The point that I'm making are true, but you're arguing against them. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, everything I say is based on facts, so... And it's, I think it's not. I'm not taking one side or the other, it's fairly balanced. You reckon? Yeah, it's actually very, very balanced. Good.